Hello, welcome back again to another session of Auto, uh, AutoCAD 3D practice. So we are still on advanced drawing. Today we want to make this sign with this um, stars on it. So I'm as I'm looking at this time, I'm saying I'm seeing two layers. The smooth part and the distort part. So let's see how we can make this on AutoCAD. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to turn off this grid line so that I'll have a very clear and clean environment. Okay, <clears throat> so I will start by clicking this, expanding this. Um, elliptical tool that will choose axis n so when i choose axis axis and i will make a drawing pick face part let me take this auto mode so that i will have a straight line and then draw something like this yeah there is i'm not going to make any dimension just make something approximate okay so after drawing this, I'm going to draw a line at the center here. Just make a line. And then I'm going to draw another line below somewhere here. Yes. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to trim off one part of it and modify the other part. Then later, I will... mirror so trim okay i am now left with this so i'm going to now use this spline tool to make something like this i'm going to turn off this auto mode make something like this and maybe yeah uh, let's make it like this yeah something like this okay so let me delete this line is no longer required okay so uh, I can join them together by typing J enter to select this and this now I can adjust this line now so that I will have the shape I want undo i'm doing undo so let me just turn off this object now okay yeah i think something like this is okay yeah i don't want it to be too sharp okay so this part that that is a little sharp i'm going to remove the vertex so you just click and remove this Vertex and you have a very clean drawing. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to rotate, mirror it. So that M I select this and I will mirror it. Let me turn turn on my object snap, mirror it along this axis. Okay, then I will have this. Now I'm going to join them together. Type J join them and I'm going to offset that so type O enter you offset through you can click through here because I'm not really going to make any dimension so just give it a thickness you can just this if this is okay just allow it so I'm giving that a thickness so if you look at the drawing you see that I'm doing I'm doing this smooth part now don't worry you might not understand what it is until when I, re I revolve it and change the visual so let's go back um, now at this point okay, let me join this together okay let me join this also using line two you can join this okay I can now group join everything together by typing J enter 
okay so i'm going to draw the next part now that's part of um, the stored parts so because i want everything to be symmetrical so i want to make a line i don't just want to guess i want to make a line across like this i think this is fine and i'm going to make a vertical line as, as well okay i'm going to move this line a bit towards this side yeah something like this yeah so i'm going to mirror it this particular line now and i have it at the other side so now what i'm going to do now let me extend this line to this point extend just that extend so i want to extend this line to here i want to have it like that okay so at this point i'm going to pick this three point arc so i will pick the first point at this intersection of the line here then pick the second point at this intersection and pick the third point at the other intersection like this yes that is what i wanted to create so at that point i can delete this horizontal line because i don't need it again so i'm going to offset the arc so type o and you can type through then offset it offset of o enter through i'm going to offset this one yeah you can give it a thickness i think for me i think this is fine just keep it like that right so at this point i'm going to delete one of these lines for now i'm going to delete this and i'm going to incline this line like this i just want to make it at an angle to be like this you understand yeah don't worry i will i will show you why i did this when you get to see the real thing you know why i did let me delete this obvious snap yeah i just want it to be like this so i can now mirror it okay let me turn on my obvious snap yeah now i'm going to trim off the some parts so trim enter i want to trim this yes trim this trim this trim this trim this trim this and then even trim this sharp part and trim this part also yes i can now delete this part yes in fact i can also delete this line is no longer now i have two things now and these are the two things i'm going to use to make this drawing okay so at this point i'm going to join this object together enter and i'm going to make an axis of rotation so if i put my axis at this point right so after making this axis I'm going to now rotate revolve this okay so let me you expand this place and then click revolve you select this enter and you select ax, ax, uh, axis of revolution and then enter you might not see this but for us to see it clearly let's change view first okay let's let's change this view and then change to home okay you now understand what you were doing but this is not all so let's go back let's go back to where we were okay you see the other one on top now okay we are going to now work on it so i'm going to hide this right click isolate hide objects right so I'm late with this. So I'm now going to be working on this now. So I'm also going to revolve this. So I will click on it, enter, 
also revolve through the same axis okay enter yes i have this let's check i now have this is now like the top part this is i'm going to make the studs the modulations that are way on top of that tire on this one okay <laughs> let's go back to our top view okay before we move to top view let's move this our axis up so that we can draw something okay so to move this axe this ucs you pick on you pick on this origin move it upward just try and make it upward like this make it make sure it's over is it's above the drawing okay so let's go back to the top view and we are going to make a drawing so make an act like this the pick act tool let me turn off this object snap you can draw something like this and then curve it like this okay then i'm going to offset and just type on set offset and then just make a reasonable offset up here like this something like this okay all right so i'm going to join this line just pick line to you can turn on your object snap join this part and this part remember we are going to join it straight like this okay you can turn off objects now so that you will not disturb you all right so i'm going to trim off some parts i'm going to trim this off yes trim this yes mm -hmm. so at this point i'm going to also trim okay that is not let me check that okay so i'm going to join a point like this let's look for a point object snap yes i want to join this part like this and then i'm going to trim off other parts below it yes this also yes and this yes okay so let me delete this one that is here yes mm -hmm. okay so at this point i'm going to mirror this so before that let's join it together type j enter and join it together now i'm going to mirror it mi select it yes and you can take the center points here mirror it like this you have this okay so at this point i'm going to draw a rectangle to pass through this you can draw it and then move it to the center later so i'm going to draw something like this and then i'm going to move it i type i typed m enter and then move it to the center like this if you really want to make it precise you can move it to the you can use object snap to make sure you snap the center just so that the, 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 you can move it to the center and make it equal okay okay so uh from my own imagination i think is fine now so after this i'm going to go back to this home icon then you see everything is at the top so first of all i'm going to extrude the rectangle so extrude So I'm going to extrude this downward, make sure it cuts through the whole object. Okay, so I'm going to now subtract, you click subtract here, you click the main 3D object and then click the rectangular object. You now have this. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this one, extrude this one also. So you click extrude, you select it, enter. You extrude it not completely through but to some points like this okay at this point I'm going to revolve I'm sorry polar I'm going to use polar array so you click on polar array you select the two objects and then enter you choose axis or rotation now you choose this axis from here like this and you have something like this right so when you have something like that you come to items and choose 
uh, let's choose like 38 let's see how it is if this 38 is satisfactory you use it so let's let's stick to that 38 so i will click close okay so now what i'm going to do is to subtract so i'm going to click subtract i will try and make sure that i click on the tire the the, the round objects no not this one yes this one and then enter then i will start selecting each of these you can select all if you can but make sure you don't select the round objects okay so i'm trying to select as much as i can it's not necessary that i should select it at once i can be selecting it and to trim out subtract the face part and then come back and complete now this is what i mean just type enter press enter now i still have some remaining so i will go back again subtract click on the main object enter and then select this select this yes select this select this select them all enter then i will have this okay so let's let's change to shaded and see what we have you see this is the top part of it now you see how it looks like let's let's revolve some more so you see how it looks like okay you see okay so now we can bring back our hidden part just end object isolation and you have this this is perfect if you want to create layer for this right you want to create layer for this layers maybe you want to separate the colors right you can come here create layer maybe two layers and then you can create layer one layer two and you can just choose color assuming okay let me choose this one let me give it a very dark black and then for this one i give it a somewhat this kind of color yeah okay so you close it what you do is when you select this one yes when you select this you come to layer and then select this black okay and you have it like this then you select this one also yes you come to this layer you select this that is if you want to have different colors and you have this you can delete this line because it's not required anymore and you have this you see so we have been able to achieve this okay so this is it in case you want to you can still play along with the colors you know to select the colors that most suits your drawing or whatever you want to use it for see so yeah something like this got it so we get this done as per our requirement so please if you have not subscribed to this channel subscribe because we still have more interesting drawings no drawings to make no i i keep saying that as long as you follow this practice with time you start in fact by now you should start making crazy drawings like think of what you want to draw see how you can make it you see so thank you for watching bye for now